Hey there, Joseph McDevitt here. Welcome, and today we're going to talk about how to speed up your laptop computer. And by the way, for more marketing strategies and tips, visit josephmcdevitt.com. Do you ever get frustrated because your laptop computer is just plain too slow? You click on something and you wait, and you wait some more. Well, I do, and it frustrates me to no end. I admit that I have very little patience to begin with, so when my laptop is slow, I get irritated. Especially because I have so much work to get done, I simply don't have time to wait for a slow computer. As luck would have it, I found an answer to my slow computer problems. You may have heard this before, but all I did to speed up my computer was I added some more RAM. What RAM stands for is Random Access Memory. Now you could go out and you could buy a new computer, but that can get costly. So what I recommend to you is look at adding some more RAM to your laptop. You'd be surprised how simple it is to do, and not only that, it's inexpensive also. I added one gigabyte of RAM to my laptop for around $50, and my computer is twice as fast as it used to be. I was absolutely blown away by the difference in speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to where you need to go to uh, purchase the uh, RAM that you're going to need to speed up your uh, computer. And the, the website is called crucial.com, and that's C-R-U-C-I-A-L. All right, so here we are. And right here on the left-hand side, it says memory. You want to make sure you're on the memory home page, and which is where we are right now. And there's three steps that you have to go through uh, to find the correct um, modules that you're going to need for your computer. And step one right here says select a manufacturer. So you have to know your manufacturer and you got to know the model number and the make and all that stuff. So and all that can be found on the bottom of your computer. So for demonstration purposes, we'll use my laptop and mine is an HP. And this little drop down, you just click on that and um, it's all alphabetical. So I'll just come down to the H's and there's HP. It's, it's actually called HP Compaq on here. I guess it's the same manufacturer. So you put that in there and then you just click find it. And that brings you to step two. And over here at step two it says select a product line. Well I happen to know my product is a DV6000 series. So it's a pavilion, I'm sorry, it's called Pavilion 6000 Series. So I just come down until I find Pavilion 6000 Series. And sometimes this is a little difficult to find, but I will find it. Pavilion DV 6000 Series, I'm getting close, I'm getting close. There it is right there. Okay, so go ahead and click on that, that populates that in there, and then click Find It. And then step three, that brings you here. So next we select a model. And my model number, I looked on the bottom of my computer, it's a Pavilion DV6408NR. So I just keep coming until I find that, and there it is. It, they're all in sequence, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. It just takes a minute. So I'll go ahead and click on that, populate that in the box there, and I'll click Find It. And there we go. It brings us to, to this page. It gives us a max it out recommendation. It says I can max my computer out with one more gig. I can add a gig to the gig I already have. That will bring me up to two gigs. And right here gives you the price, $23.99. And that's for one of these little modules. They come in one gigabyte modules. So I need two because I'm upgrading to two gigs. So there it is. There's two in the box. You just click buy now. So it'll be right around $48 plus tax. About $50 is what I spent. And they send it to you in the mail. You click buy now and you go ahead and put in your credit card information and whatnot. And they'll send it to you in the mail. It took about a week for mine to show up. Okay, and another nice thing too is I could track it. You can go to my account, or actually right here next to there, it says track my order. You can track your order. And uh, so that's kind of handy. And then also on the right hand side here, there's a nice little installation video. Shows you exactly how to do it. It's really simple. In fact, what I'm going to do, I made a, uh, a YouTube video and I'm going to take you over there and uh, it's only a couple minutes long and I'm going to show you exactly um, how to do it. I, and so here we go. I'll go ahead and, and uh, start this. But I want to preface this by saying there's a couple little side notes, okay? Make sure before you do this to your computer that your computer is off and unplugged. And if you can, go ahead and remove your battery 
Um, I left my battery in only because my battery is very difficult to get in and out. So I left it, uh, it in there, but at least make sure that your computer is off and unplugged. Okay, and another thing is make certain that you're standing on a rubber mat because you cannot have any kind of static uh, electricity going on when you're doing this because you could um, ruin your motherboard and that can get costly. So just take those two little precautions and you'll be, you'll be all set. So anyway, here we go. I'll play this video and show you um, just how quick and simple this is to do. So there's my little laptop. That's all you need really, a little uh, Phillips head screwdriver and there's the two little uh, gigs of RAM that came in the mail. And here we go. Just take your laptop and flip it over. And there you'll find a little access panel right there. Just take your Phillips head screwdriver and there's two little screws on mine. Just pull those little screws out, pop that little access panel off of there, and there they are. There's the two little modules that I'm going to pull out of there. Those are 500 uh, megabyte each, so that's one gig total in there. I'm going to pull those out and replace it with those two one gig uh, modules, and that will give me two gigs total. If you can see, there's two little silver latches right there. I'm kind of pressing out on them, it releases it and the, the little module pops right out. So you get them both out, you take your new ones, and there's a little notch, you, if, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there, it's right on the right side there on the top, that little notch, you line it up with the little notch there, and you can't put these in wrong. So you line it up with the notch, and then you just push down it and it snaps right into, into place. So if you know, like I say, you can't put it in wrong. It won't go in if you don't have that little notch lined up. So there you go. You get the other one lined up, push it in, snap it down. That's pretty easy. Take your access panel there and just put it back on. Tighten your little Phillips head screws back down. Make sure they're good and tight. Flip it back over. And there it is. You're done. Pretty simple. So anyway, I hope you found that to be real useful information. As you can see, it's really simple to add RAM to your computer. And like I always say, if you ever have any questions, come over to my blog, josephmcdevitt.com. And down here on the right-hand side, there's a big button right there that says ask me. Just go ahead and click that. And then right there it says ask a question. Click that. Put your email, your name, put your question in there and click send. And I'll get back to you just as quick as I can. Hey, like I said, I hope you found that to be useful. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, visit josephmcdevitt.com. That's where you'll find me. And I'll be there with more useful strategies and tips. Thanks for watching today and make it a great day.